feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off. Hey everyone, so I hope you're all okay. Welcome back to my channel and hello to a brand new video. Now this video isn't any old video. This is my first of many pre-autumn Zara hauls. Girls, I am so excited to even say them words. Autumn, which means layering, which means coats, which means I can just get my styling back on. Autumn and winter is my styling season. You guys know this by now. And honestly, if you've not already looked on Zara, whoa, 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 whoa. You need to brace yourself and be prepared to say goodbye to a lot of your bank balance because there is some serious, seriously good stuff on there right now. And I'm so excited to show you everything I got. Obviously, I went in a little bit heavy. I got not one, but two boxes so yeah cannot wait to share them with you but before we do get into the bulk of today's video i just want to say a massive thank you to shop tagger for actually sponsoring part of this video and now if you guys watch me on a regular you will already know that i've spoken about shop tagger in the past and they're basically a money saving app if you want to save yourself some serious coin on your shopping habits for furthermore you need to download shop tagger because honestly for me it is one of those life saving apps that help me save but still you know, allow me to shop. So you can actually download Shop Tagger on your phone or have it on desktop. I have both because obviously I'm just that into it. What Shop Tagger allows you to do is it allows you to save certain items to a list and whenever that item then goes on sale or gets a discount, you will get notified. So let's say you know summer sales are coming up and there's a beautiful dress that was like so expensive that you didn't really want to pay full price for. But you're thinking, hang on a minute, I've got a holiday coming up in like November, like that dress is going to not be on the site soon and I really want to get it. I know they're going to put it in the sale. If you save that onto a shop tagger, basically what happens is as soon as that dress goes into sale or any sort of discount goes on that dress you will get instantly notified so then you can go and buy that dress at a discounted price like honestly how insane is it i have literally done this for all of my holiday clothes upcoming for turkey and it has been so good as soon as things have been drifting in and in the sale and getting further discounts i've been getting a notification straight to my phone and then it just tells me straight away by the way um dress from pretty little thing has now got 20 percent off and it's just so, so good. Not only do you get notified about a sale or a discount, you also get notified when things go back in stock. So do you know when that really annoying thing happens where you like something and it's out of stock and you're like, oh my God, like you're constantly checking back and forth on the website to see if it's come back in. Well, again, when you save your items to your shop tag or wish list, you will get notified if it comes back in stock, which is honestly just so, so good. You haven't got to check. Be reassured that it's sat in your shop tag or wish list, and as soon as it comes back in stock, you will be first to know so you can go and purchase it. So I'm just very quickly going to put on screen the shop tag or desktop version, just so you can see it in a little bit more detail, and let me just explain to you a little bit more just to make your life easier when you go away and download this, because like I said, you will be downloading this, guys. So if you click on the link in the description bar, you'll be located to this homepage. This is the Shop Tag Up homepage. You then want to obviously log in or sign up. Obviously, I already have an account, so it's asking me to log in. So I'm just going to simply do that. And then when you are all logged in, you're then just going to want to simply get the button. So this is in the right hand corner of the screen. You're going to click on this and this is just going to then allow you to save items to wish lists once you then start shopping. Again, it's very simple, quick and easy. And once you have done that, you'll then have a shop tagger button appear in your toolbar. Then onto my favorite part, which is obviously shopping. So if you click on stores at the top of your screen on your shop tagger dashboard, you can then type in any store you'd like to shop on. All of your favorite stores are there. So I'm just gonna go on to Pretty Little Things and then it will redirect me to the Pretty Little Thing homepage. So you then just simply shop just how you usually would. There's nothing new to it. And then when you see an item that you like, you just simply click on it. And then as you can see, the shop tagger button is already in the right hand corner. So I'm just gonna click on this and this will allow you to save the product to your wish list list so if we click on this you're going to get asked a bunch of options so you can choose your color you can select your size so it knows your usual size you can then notify for any price changes 25% or 50% I'm just going to do any price changes and then you're just simply going to click on which wish list you'd like to save it to so I'm going to save this to my autumn wardrobe and then I'm just going to click save and that will then be stored on my shop tag art dashboard and under the autumn wardrobe wish list and then if you just go back to your shop tagger homepage and my items, that item will then be the first one on the list and saved to your wish list. The wish list feature is honestly so incredibly helpful. Not only does it help you organize your shopping, but it also enables you to create different lists for different occasions. So for example, this is my summer holiday wish list. And it also means that if any of these items go out of stock, 
or have a discount, I will get notified when they're back in stock and when they've got an immediate discount via text message, email, or mobile push. The last feature that I quickly need to show you because this is honestly the most insane thing ever is the coupon code feature. So when you go to your basket at the checkout, so I'm on Pretty Little Thing, ShopTagger will now tell you if there are any coupon codes you can use to save money on your shopping. So as you can see, it's come up, it's testing codes, and it has found a 20% off coupon code so i have saved 12 pound 20 on my order today and yeah as you can see it's saying with shop tagger without shop tagger and then i can obviously continue to the checkout with my discount code that shop tagger has found so honestly guys you would be silly not to have this downloaded onto your desktop or downloaded onto your phone because it is just such a no-brainer because if you want to save your pennies which i'm pretty sure we all want to save coin where we can this will honestly help you out so so much so anyway guys, that is ShopTagger and that is the money saving app that I always use to shop. I'm going to leave all the details in the description bar below for ShopTagger and how you can download it. Definitely make sure you check that out. Anyway guys, I think we better get on to the Zara haul, which is what you are all here for. Get your cup of tea because this is going to be not a long one. I've not got too, too much, but it's going to be a good one. So you want to be comfy and ready for this. By the way, if I look a bit naked today, it's because I'm just not wearing lashes. I already explained this in my last video and I've just not been wearing lashes as much lately. Um, just enjoy like the freeness on my eyes to be completely honest with you. But I also look very, very like naked in the same breath. Anyway, Laura, shut up. Always bloody ramble, don't I? Right, jumping straight on in, guys. We're going to start with a good old graphic tee because you know by now the basis of my wardrobe is a few good Disney graphic tees. They are so easy to style. They go with jeans. They go with trousers. Um, they go with skirts. They go with an absolute ton of things and they're going to be a very good basis for your wardrobe coming into autumn, winter. I had to pick up a new one because Zara are always bringing out the most insane ones. And this time I picked up the one, the only, the Cruella Deville Disney tee. So it just says Cruella Villain Club on it. And I've actually already worn this. This is only $15.99, which I didn't think was badly priced. I always get my Zara Disney tees in a medium, just for reference, because I like them like oversized. And I feel like when you get them bigger, you've just got more styling options. You can tie them up. You can just do a lot of different things with them. I'm going to be styling this with the next pair of jeans that I'm going to show you. Um, but yeah, absolutely love that, guys. Honestly, it will go with so many different outfits. So as I said, following on from that, the next thing I picked up was a pair of jeans. I have honestly been totally and utterly obsessed with Zara jeans. I'm going to be honest, Zara jeans were never really something that I thought like to purchase. I just don't know why. Um, but yeah, like I've been getting absolutely obsessed with them. They have so many nice styles and the fit in, the fit in of my last pair of jeans that I brought, you the balloon ones in my last Zara haul. If you've not really checked it out, go and watch that haul because there were a few good staples that I got. I was so in love with them. So I needed more. I needed more in every single color. So I noticed that they did them in this sort of like black color. It's sort of like a, like a lighter wash black, if that makes sense. It's not like a proper black, it's like a charcoal black. Um, but these are those balloon jeans, the exact same style. Now, this is where it gets a little bit funny. The sizing of these guys is completely different to the sizing of my blue denim balloon jeans. So the last balloon jeans I got in a sip and they fitted lovely. They were oversized, they were slouchy. And I was sort of saying to everyone, definitely size down. Like I'm probably normally an eight in a jean, but I thought no, size down because they are like an oversized fit. So I did the same with these and thought, right, I'm gonna get the six because they were such a stunning fit. And the bloody short guy, they're short, they're tighter, they're just not the same fit. They are just not the same fit. So yeah, really disappointed about that. I feel like I might actually exchange these and get a size eight um, because I really enjoyed the sort of bagginess to them. And also they're just so short. They look like ankle bashers. A little bit disappointed. I've actually already took the tag off, I think. Bloody hell. I have to like stick that back on. They were $29.99, which I don't think is bad value for a pair of Zara jeans at all. So Moving on to the next item, which again is a pair of trousers, and this is something a little bit different for me, but I just thought these were 
really edgy, really fashion Easter, and I am definitely more of a trouser gal when it comes to autumn winter. Trousers, jeans, yeah, through and through to be honest with you. I'm not really much of a skirt person. I picked up these faux leather cargo trousers. Oh my god, it is getting so dark outside. Sorry guys, if the lighting starts like going like really dim and stuff. It literally looks like it's going to be the end of the world outside. I'm not even joking. Absolutely hammering it down. And it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Anyway, I stumbled across these on Zara. And just thought they were something a little bit different. And I thought, do you know what? I think they could work. So like I said, they're these faux Levo cargo trousers. They've got silver buttons on the pockets on the side. And they go down. And it's sort of like tapered at the end. Do you see that? I absolutely love that detailing. Like I feel like these with some nice like laced up heels underneath as well would look like really cool. I've already tried them on. The fit is lovely. They fit so bloody comfy and um, i got them in a size extra small and they're only 25.99 i just thought they were something a little bit different you could even wear them for the evening you can dress them down for the day yeah really really impressed with those as well and then to go with that i actually picked up this jacket that i thought could be like quite interesting with it it was actually styled like this on the website so kudos and credit to zara for the styling here this wasn't actually my original styling guys so i got the jacket in a size small it was 29.99 and it is just simply this beige belted jacket with pockets so as you can see just got these gorgeous pockets on i just absolutely love this sort of like utility um style tortoise shell buttons and what i love most is that it does have a tie detailing so it's not the longest jacket it's quite a short jacket but i thought with those cargo joggers obviously it was styled up like that it just looks so good again you could wear this with so many different things in autumn you could wear it with black faux leather trousers and um, black jeans list is endless really like that as well Guys, it's not, it's not a lot I actually don't like. This is actually very dangerous because I'm at that point in the Zara haul, like, what am I actually returning? Like, whenever I do a Zara haul, I'll go mad and then I think, oh, I probably will end up, like, returning half because it's not going to fit or I won't like it. And this one, it's not it's not turning out that way. The next thing I stumbled across, I, I was so excited about this piece. You guys know I love it all in one. I love a jumpsuit. I love a play suit. I just love quickness easiness and comfiness like that is those, those are the three things i would describe my style quick easy comfy um, and i came across this just on the fluke i don't even know how i come across this i think it was like a featured or mentioned item at the bottom and i was like you know what i'm gonna turn this light on guys sorry guys i had to turn the light on because i was getting a bit concerned about the lighting but anyway randomly stumbled across this little beauty and it is a very like fine knitted jumpsuit but it's like a long cycle suit if that makes any sort of sense so at the top it's just strappy um, and like i said it's in like a really nice fine knit very stretchy like very comfy fabric really good quality and it just goes down to like a really nice sort of like almost like a long cycle short i just absolutely love this i think but whoa, whoa guys the weather's really taking a turn outside like what the actual hell it's a little bit of a basic but honestly this will be an absolute staple going into autumn i am probably going to style this with like a big chunky black knitted cardigan maybe like some nice boots yeah i just think this will be a really really good piece to style in my wardrobe um, and it was only 29.99 which i didn't think was badly priced i got it in a size small haven't actually tried it on yet but obviously i am going to include the clip after so you will get to see so moving on to faux leather trousers i feel like another essential for any sort of like autumn winter wardrobe is a pair of sort of like faux leather trousers faux leather leggings just a, just faux leather guys i just love the faux leather look it's just a way that you can style them for an evening and you can style them casual and i just love how effortlessly stylish faux leather always looks so of course guys they did the balloon shape in the faux leather trousers as well and i was really really intrigued by this i mean i don't know how these are going to quite look because i normally wear sort of like skinny faux leather trousers but i thought you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna work it i'm gonna try these out and see if they look any good they could look absolutely horrendous i haven't tried these on yet 
they could look good um but i just thought if these could be comfy and stylish that would be a win-win so these are 25.99 i got them in a size six um and they do look quite giving they look like they've got quite a lot of room in this is what they look like look a really nice quality leather as well they've got pockets at the top and they just go down into a nice cuffed bottom as well which i really really like they've also got like a little bit of paneling on and i really like that detailing too so yeah these look really really good quality for 25.99 they don't look like that cheap fakey leather look so yeah really intrigued to try them on and see what they are like i will let you know And then I also picked up another pair because obviously you know what it can be like with faux leather trousers guys. Sometimes I feel like you just have to buy an assortment and then just get a feel for which ones fit you best and look best. All different styles fit all different body shapes I'm completely honest. So what are these next ones called? Because I'm looking at them and I'm thinking they actually look pretty similar to them ones. Okay these are called faux leather collots. Oh interesting. Um, so these are slightly more pricier. These were $49.99. I got these in a size 8. Um, and this is what they look like. So they look quite big actually maybe i should have got a six i don't know we'll try them on guys but yeah they're just a sort of like straight down pair again they're quite given they don't look like a skinny fit they have pockets again which is a win win and yeah not a lot to really say they've got um belt straps as well if you want to put a belt around the top i'm gonna to try them on and style them up and let you know how those guys next up brace yourself it's more disney guys i'm just blooming disney obsessed and it is this lion king hoodie oh my god god <gasps> i'm just in love i literally have fell in love with this oh my god this looks actually really big i've never actually bought a hoodie from zara like a disney hoodie so didn't really know for sizing but like as always i love wearing things oversized and baggy i just i just love that vibe so yeah i got it in a medium it's in sort of like a mole gray obviously as you can see just got this big print taking center center stage honestly i just thought styling options for this could be endless you could team it with a black pair of leggings and boots you could team it with trainers you can team it with wide leg trousers like there will be so many different options with this and you can team it under like a big oversized coat i just thought it would be a really nice statement graphic jumper to introduce to the wardrobe for autumn winter it's not thick at all but layering with this will be so so nice so yeah i'm really chuffed with that too moving on to another pair of trousers as you can see i was definitely stocking up on trousers when i was doing this sort of shop and um, i then picked up a white pair of trousers now i know white it's not the most common color to associate with autumn winter it's normally like your darker tones but i always love an all white outfit like i always love a bit of white into my wardrobe i think it's just one of those colors that whenever you just team white on white you always just look instantly stylish um, and i really wanted a sort of like wide leg pair of jeans so I come across these ones, these were $49.99, so I mean these have got to be a good fit and something special for me to keep these because that's a lot of money for a pair of jeans, if I'm completely honest, um, and yeah, got them in a size 6, and they're called the Worker Pal Palazzo trousers in off-white, and this is what they look like, so they're sort of like that wide leg, oversized jean, um, and they just go straight down and they're sort of like rolled up at the bottom, I just thought these teamed with Disney graphic tees, you know, like a nice cream coat, that like they could look really, really cool. So yeah, I thought I'd play around the style with that and I'm gonna gonna see what I come up with and then I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, moving 
moving on to a couple of dressier pieces because these just really caught my eye when I was looking through the website. And the first one is a two-piece suit because, I mean, if if I'm ever going to do dressy, it's always near enough a co-ord or, yeah, a trouser top sort of, like, thing. I come across this one and this looked absolutely stunning on the website. So, as you can see, it's this sort of, like, olivey green colour it's in a satin um, and it has sort of like a straight leg pair of trousers to go with it this looked so chic on the website like do you know when you just catch something and you're like oh my god that just looks so sophisticated so classy i just really liked it but 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 but, but there is a but one the price 80 pound for the blazer which i know is an awful lot of money and also they only had a small left in stock so i thought oh like a small will be fine but it does look like really big. I feel like this could even be like a blazer dress on me. Um, so, so yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm gonna try and style it up and show you what it looks like on. Let me tell you how much the trousers are. Oh my goodness, guys, the trousers are 49.99. Got these in an extra small. That is what the trousers look like. Like I just really love the color of this. Something really drew me to the color because I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. But the price, hmm. That is pricey. Um, it is beautiful quality, as always, like it's Zara. It is lovely, um, but I just don't think that's gonna fit quite how I want it to because the blazer is too big. Okay, so moving on to the last piece of clothing before I show you accessories. Um, and the last thing I picked up was a jumpsuit. Now, I've already spoken to you about jumpsuits on Zara. I always find that they never fit me. I'm five foot three, um, and I always find that they're so long on the crotch area. They're just so long in the length. I've yet to find a jumpsuit on Zara that actually fits me spot on. And I always see so many girls wearing their jumpsuits, and I'm like, oh, so envious. I'm like, they look so, so good, and but they just don't fit. And anyway, I saw someone wearing this on Instagram and I just was like, oh my God, I need that. Like, it's so beautiful. But you know what? I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Like, let's see if it fits. Could this be the Zara jumpsuit that finally fits me? Is this going to fit a short girl? And um, so this is 49 99 which I didn't think was badly priced because it is in real quality. I got this in an extra small. And it is this sort of like blue. This is going to be so hard to show you. Oh, hang on. It is this blue jumpsuit. So it's got these really nice sort of like puff sleeves at the top. And then it's got a tie waist and it just goes straight down into like a straight leg. I am just going to put a styling clip in after this and just show you exactly how this looks styled up. Now moving on to accessories and um, guys, Zara never fail with the bags and the accessories. They are just like my go-to for autumn winter bags and shoes and, and just everything if I'm completely honest. So if you're on the next couple of purchases, they're very sort of Bottega Veneta. I think that's how you say that designer, Bottega Ven Ven Veneta. I don't know, I'm absolutely awful with names, so please excuse how I say that. Like I'm obviously not a designer person, but obviously I do take inspiration from designer elements. And basically they have these gorgeous quilted shoes and I feel like the next two purchases are very sort of inspired around those. So the first purchase is a bag. I like the Batiga Veneta shoes. They have it has this beautiful quilted detailing, which I absolutely love. I feel like this is the perfect sort of day bag that's gonna add a little bit of glam and sort of like make your outfit a little bit more dressy but still sort of daytime casual i absolutely love how clutch bags look with just like a big coat um, and a pair of trainers i just yeah i love it and i love especially as well that this bag is so big and it's going to fit so much in i mean as much as i'm loving the small bag trends sometimes i'm like oh my god i can't fit this that and that in so yeah this is actually really affordable it was only 19.99 and i just thought this was going to look just so effortlessly stylish and it's going to go with a lot of different looks taking me through to autumn winter so really really pleased with that 
And then sticking with that same design art and that same sort of like quilted um, feel is these absolutely beautiful shoes. So as I mentioned, Batika Veneta actually have these beautiful quilted, they're like heeled sandal shoes. They're so stunning, but obviously I'm not gonna pay like absolutely ridiculous amounts of money for a pair of shoes. I just can't justify it. Um, so I really wanted something similar. So I got these flats. Um, so obviously I know flats going into autumn and like rain in England and it's not always ideal but I feel like autumn we do get quite a lot of dry days so I do still feel like I will be able to wear these as long as it's not too too cold um, and these were only 19 99 and I just guys I just really like these I just thought like with a pair of like black jeans you know like a little cami and then a big cardigan and these on the feet I just I just really liked them and I think they look quite expensive and classy and I think there'll be loads of really lovely ways to incorporate and style these up with outfits. Okay so next up was more of a going out bag and I love to have sort of like statement bags in my wardrobe. Do you know when you just get a plain black outfit or a plain white outfit and you just want to add that sort of pop to it? I feel like having a couple of statement sort of out there bags in your wardrobe will always serve you well. Um, and I've been eyeing this one up for a while on Zara, but it was out of stock for the longest time ever. And it is this beautiful sort of like fuchsia bright pink one. So absolutely perfect size, that little sort of bag trend again. Um, it's actually in like this sort of like brushed, like faux faux fur kind of thing a really strange texture but it looks so expensive and i mean it was 49.99 so it wasn't the cheapest but it definitely looks really expensive as well i love the gold buckle detailing too i think that looks really classy um, and then i feel like it also does have a chain yes yeah, there's a gold chain in the bag as well so you can obviously wear it like over a cross body which will be really really nice like i said i just thought this would be absolutely perfect for like those all white outfits or all black and where you just want to add that little pop of colour and that little statement and then possibly saving the very best find and purchase and guys say hello to my new autumn winter bag da -da -da. where do I even begin about this bag like I cannot get over how expensive how lovely just this is everything I have been looking for in a bag guys and I finally Finally found it on Zara. I, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, so, first of all, let's talk price because this was the biggest shocker. $19.99. You guys will know, I have been absolutely wearing to death my last year's Zara autumn winter bag, which was the plain black Perspex one. I absolutely love that. It has gone with absolutely everything and I always love to find those bags that no matter what you wear you can always style it with like there's hardly anything that it doesn't go with i wanted to upgrade that because although i've been loving that perspic bag i feel like it is quite cash i wanted something a little bit more something that was going to give off a little bit more expensive vibes and go with like really nice coats and as much as i love the perspex like i'm not slating the perspex it has served me well i still will be using that now and again i just feel like this is a step up guys this is the step up how expensive this is look it's given me all this sort of like um ysl vibes feel like it could look like a designer bag but without the designer price tag um, it is the perfect size it fits my phone in my sort of like wallet um you know my inhaler my makeup just like all the essential bits i need on a day-to-day -day. um it's got a cross body as well which i absolutely love you can obviously take that off as well and just have it as a little bag this is the perfect bag. Like, if you were going to buy any bag this season, you need to get this. Now, unfortunately, I do think it is out of stock at the moment, but this is where ShopTagger is going to come in and save your life, guys. On the app now, like I said, download ShopTagger, go to the Zara website. I will leave all the links in the description bar. Save this to your ShopTagger wish list, and then as soon as Zara do bring it back in stock, you will get notified so you can go straight on and purchase it and not miss out because you don't want to miss out on the restock of these because I know these will probably come in quite fast to Zara and go very quickly as well and um, it happened with my black perspic one definitely my favorite find for autumn winter so far my new bag yay oh my god I'm just so happy with that guys do you really just get so excited about something I also wanted to tell you as well it there is a zip on the top which I know a lot of people always want to know is there a zip on the top to keep your money safe and stuff and there is but anyway guys we are at the end of my first 
autumn transitional zara haul i really really hope you have enjoyed it i know there hasn't been any coats this time but i feel like i'm just waiting for more to come in and then we will start getting to full jumper coat season which i'm so so excited about but this is just a little bit of a taster of what's to come and um, a few items that i think you can start pushing into your wardrobe now whilst it's not too cold so yeah anyway thank you so so much for watching don't forget as always to go and check out shop tagger before you do go all of the details will be in the description bar below i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye